ones, high ones, high ones, do it, die ones, even shy ones. Up one, two, get to the middle and throw it back to me. Nobody do it like you do that for me. Sheesh, don't blow half on the halftime treat. Let's talk this cane, shut out South Beach. Do some loose, what's up? I broke the leash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all three eyes on the prize. Right now, right now, right now. I got a real good thing on the rise. Right now, right now, right now. And it's worth every bit of my time. I'm trying to see you right now when she ETA. It's such a good vibration. It's such a sweet sensation. Got such a temptation. It's such a sweet sensation. Sauce. It's a vibe, it's a vibe. Rockin' in the champagne, fluke, hit the lights. Feeling like a damn good time to be alive. And you're looking like a snack shot, they pull it to the side. You got all three eyes on the prize. Right now, right now, right now. I got a real good thing on the rise. Right now, right now, right now. And it's worth every bit of my time. Right now, right now, right now. I'm wrapped up GTA. I'm trying to see you right now when she ETA. It's such a good vibration. This is Sports Zone Radio. Sports Zone Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio. Welcome to Northland Basketball. Basketball. Presented by Sports Zone Radio. Exclusive coverage of Navajo Nation and White Mountains Varsity Basketball online at SportsZone123.com and on the Sports Zone Radio smartphone app. And now it's time for Northland Basketball. Welcome in, basketball fans, to more Northland basketball at Sports Zone Radio. And tonight, hey, how about this matchup? The Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets hosting the Alchese Falcons. You talk about rivalries. That's what this one brings you for basketball, a big one. Blue Ridge and Alchese, as you see right there on your screen. Welcome in to Blue Ridge High School, everybody, for tonight's broadcast of Northland basketball. And uh, we are just about ready to go on tonight's matchup. Clock says, oh, you know, a little under two minutes to tip time. That's actually two minutes to the announcement of the starting lineups in this one, this boys varsity matchup. Earlier it was the Alchese girls with a big, big win over Blue Ridge. And I know that the Alchese boys would be looking forward to doing the same thing if they can, if they can manage it, if they can pull it off. But I don't think it's going to be the same. That Blue Ridge boys team, they've got some pretty good recent history of great success you can expect them to come out and play hard the Alchese boys by the way have opened up their season 0 and 5 their record right now is 0 and 5 so you, you can bet that the uh, yellow jackets are hoping to feast tonight for sure blue ridge season record right now undefeated they're 3 and 0 3 and 0 as we get started tonight at blue ridge high school and we're about a minute away from the 
starting lineups in this one. During our broadcast tonight, we're going to give you an opportunity, everybody. We're going to give you a chance. Uh, we're going to give you a chance to uh, win some Phoenix Suns tickets. So stay tuned throughout the broadcast tonight and uh, take, a take a chance at winning some, uh, some Suns tickets right here at Sports Zone Radio. Hey, thanks for joining us for our live video coverage as well on the Sports Zone Radio Facebook page and on the Sports Zone Radio YouTube channel. You can watch the live video. Those of you who are listening on the mobile app, wherever you are. Thanks for, for doing that. You know, when you're on the mobile app, most of the time you can actually go right straight to our video from the app. There's a menu in the upper left corner. And that video, uh, the, uh, the uh, menu, if you drop that down, there's going to be a red live video button that comes up on your screen on the next page. You push on that, and that'll take you, should take you, right to our Number 21. Take it right to our live video on YouTube. I'm going to actually take a look at it. Well, I don't know what's Number going on with the uh, mobile app. <laughs> something is something not going so well with the uh, with the mobile app. Ladies and gentlemen, your blue I'm going to make the assumption that everything is hunky dory on the mobile app. How does that sound? Five, Have we verified Carson that? Have we checked the mobile app? Any verification at any point? Number 20, Logan Joe. Starting lineup is being announced. Logan Joe has gotten his name announced here to the crowd. For Blue Ridge, they are undefeated 3-0. Number 24, Cesar Bonilla. Number 42, Nate Padilla. Introducing number 50, David Lee. The other jacket is Janet Rex. Well, again, it's uh, great to have you with us on our broadcast tonight. And we are going to once again do the, the national anthem. You can see on that look there, on the, the main camera look, they unveil a beautiful American flag. And now the national anthem. The crowd loves it, and they had to love that flag. How about that beautiful view? And a patriotic start to our broadcast tonight of Northland Basketball presented by Sports Zone Radio. We're at Blue Ridge High School tonight. The Yellow Jackets and the, the Alton State Falcons getting ready to get this thing tipped up and underway. Great to have you with us. Rough start for the, the Falcons. Their official record is 0-5 on the campaign while the Yellow Jackets are undefeated and Blue Ridge controls the opening tip. They missed the, the first 
go at it, but they're able to get the follow. Carson Rex for the Yellow Jackets gets the bucket. The tip back is good. He's got a chance at the and one after the first foul is whistled four seconds into the game. That's how quick this one gets going. Corey Kose is the guy that picked up the personal foul and a beautiful stroke at the line for the big fella, Carson Rex. He's got three points in the game. We are underway. With Northland basketball presented by Choice NTU Way Wireless and Sports Zone Radio. And here's the pull-up jump shot. Foot on the line. That's a very long two. And the first points of the game for the Falcons. They're able to get on the board. The guy that does it. Well, those are the first points today for Kakoa uh, uh, Upton. Falcons knock a three down. Gavin Butterfield, his first points today. The Falcons lead the Yellow Jackets five to three. And a lot of Falcon fans have made the trip to Blue Ridge today. Not a long drive, the shortest road trip they get to take all year. And their boys have the ball. Nice move on the baseline. Wow. That was LaDamian George with his second bucket of the game as he did a great job to cross up the defender. That's Reed Gurneo who couldn't stay with him. And it, it's a quick 7-3 start for the Alchesay Falcons. Boy, the, the way they look out there right now belies this. The fact that they have not won a, a game yet this year, not, not under normal circumstances. So let's, let's get a White Mountain Regional Medical Center spot in for you. They are the presenting sponsors of the Sports Zone Radio Player of the Game. We'll be back in the first quarter to Blue Ridge right after this. Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Thank you to White Mountain Regional Medical Center, the hospital in Springerville. They are the presenting sponsors of the Sports Zone Radio Player of the Game. Seven to three, a carry called on the Yellow Jackets. Cesar Benio is the guy that turned it over. And he'll get invited to go have a seat on the bench. So, we get it going back into the action. Falcons with a cross-court pass that will go out of bounds and go back to the Yellow Jackets. So, well, uh, that was Reed Greneal that forced the turnover with the tough defense. Back to it, Yellow Jackets have the basketball. Trailing 7-3. They Called their first time out of the game just a moment ago to try and slow down the onslaught from the Falcons. Cross-court pass to the corner. Granillo kicks it outside Logan Joe. And Logan's three-point shot won't go down for the team. Falcons run it up the floor. Back to the top of the key. Spin move in the paint. The fader trying to get over the top of, of that tall defender. Carson Rex and the, uh, the shot was no good. A jump shot for uh, Max Lupe would not go in. Logan Joe on the left angle. Now to Jaron Burnett at the top of the key for the Yellow Jackets. To Granito on the right angle. Swing it to Joe. He drives and boy, he got a lot of contact. He got hit pretty good. Did not make the shot. Rebound inside for Blue Ridge. And there is a Falcon foul. And a foul is going to go against uh, Anthony Goyesian. I hope I got that right. 
Somewhere along the line, we'll check that pronunciation for you. Oh, shot block. Nate Padilla tried to go in. Go, actually, yeah, the block is going to be a, a tie-up jump ball. That's great a job on the defense. I didn't quite see who made that play for the Falcons. But it was a good job. A, a much shorter defender for the Falcons making that play. And boy, I'll just say, almost threw it away. They get uh, Gavin Butterfield out there on the floor, his pass. And then a dribble into the corner. And uh, that'll be a step on the sideline and a turnover. Kakoa Upton uh, giving it back to the Yellow Jackets. Blue Ridge with the basketball. Out on top, and a pass inside to, to Carson Rex. It somehow found its way to Carson. He's able to make the shot. And it's 7-5. Yellow Jackets back within two. Pass up the floor. Falcons turn it over. Blue Ridge can tie as they get possession of the ball again. Blue Ridge on the attack, the dish. The drive by Burnett. He tried to dish to, to Rex, but Carson couldn't hold on to it. It's, it's tipped away, knocked out of bounds. The Falcons guilty of knocking that one away. Seven to five. I'll just stay in front in this boys matchup. Northland basketball here at Sports on Radio. Inbound pass is intercepted. Falcons try to save it in after that interception. Gavin Butterfield, but Falcons will give it up. Blue Ridge controlling. Underneath to Nate Padilla. Padilla couldn't make the uh, the uh, layup, but he did get contact and a personal foul. That is Dante Ship. That gets called for the foul. His first of the game, Padilla at the line. Beautiful shot by Nate Padilla. And Nate Padilla able to make both of those foul shots for the Yellow Jackets. Falcon ball. Pass inside. It's tipped away. Taken away by Granillo. Up, up ahead, up the floor. He cannot get the pass into Nate Padilla's hands. Hey, we got a time ball game after those free throws a moment ago by Padilla. 7-7. Seven to seven. Falcons get the ball back. Ball into front court. For the Falcons. Frank Lee Jr. And then see a number on that, Derek? Okay. Gavin Butterfield. With the uh, the two point bucket, Yellow Jackets to try one of their own. Jaron Burnett unable to connect there. Tipped around, knocked around, knocked out of bounds by the Falcons. Yellow Jackets have the basketball. Looking around, Burnett gets it in to Padilla in the paint, bounces around, and Nate has the two points. Ties it again, nine to nine. 307 on the clock, first quarter. Northland basketball, it's presented by Sports Zone Radio. Thanks for being with us. Open for a three, that one will not go in for Upton. Falcons get it back, Frank Lee Jr. out there. He's gonna have to give it up. He had to avoid the double dribble. Upton diving, scooping it up and calling timeouts. Good hustle. By Kakoa Upton, the Falcon fans here love it. So does that young man up there by our camera. Harley Upton standing to his feet, cheering his boy on right there. That's got to be a brother, right? Looks just like Harley. Is that his brother? Is that your brother, Harley? Yeah, got to be. And that's going to that's gonna be a timeout. Falcons with the diving effort out there. Save possession. 
And there's a good shot of our boy Harley, one of the one of the greatest that ever played it out to say. Timeout, Northland Basketball presented by Sports Zone Radio, tied at nine. When it comes to paint, whether you're looking for interior or exterior paint, Dunn Edwards provides quality solutions to make all your painting projects look professional. And the home of Dunn Edwards in the White Mountains is Ace Hardware in Sholo Pine Top and Heber Overgard. Thanks to Dunn Edwards, Ace has the best interior paint for your home or office, and their exterior paint will stand up to the wear and tear of our tough seasonal weather. When it's time to paint, it's time to visit Ace Hardware of the White Mountains for high quality Dunn Edwards interior and exterior paint and primer. Thanks to Ace Hardware, one of our longtime partners here at Sports Zone Radio. B squared Byron Brown unable to make the broadcast. And he is also the guy that owns Ace Hardware. So if you didn't know it, now you do. Inbound. Uh, inbound for the Falcons, second quarter, no, first period action here. Sorry about that, it's tied nine apiece. Falcons try three, that won't go in, rebound. Yellow Jackets and the long pass from Jaron Burnett up the floor is taken away. Couldn't find Logan Joe. Falcons have it back, Nate Padilla blocks a shot for the Yellow Jackets, good defense there. Blue Ridge running up the floor, wide open baseline jumper right side, and that's gonna rim out. No good for Logan Joe. Falcons will have it. Logan looking for his first points yet in this game for the Yellow Jackets, and a guy that you would expect to deliver a lot. Right? So far, Logan struggling to get his first points of the game for Blue Ridge. Bounce pass inside, good position, but the but the pass could not find its way to Frederick Cole on a feed from Trevor Peaches. No, no, Dante Ship. sorry, that was Dante out there trying to feed the pass down low. Tied at nine apiece, just under two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Northland basketball presented by Sports Zone Radio. Remember, the Sports Zone Radio player of the game will be announced at the end of this one, and that will be presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. 92 seconds left in the first quarter. Logan Joe has it for Blue Ridge. Yellow Jackets taking a lot of time. Taking that time down from the elbow, a pass into the corner for the Jackets. He worked it down there. I believe that's Malachi T.C. Smith in the lineup. And now a shovel pass in the paint. Boy, a lot of contact on Carson Rex. Did not get a call. Had to save one in for his team. Outside for three. That one for Smith is no good from three-point land. Now under a minute left in the first quarter. Tied at nine. These offenses struggling with any sort of rhythm out there. Hadn't seen any, any good runs by anybody yet. Whistle near the sideline, and there's a yellow jacket foul. Jaron Burnett picks up the foul. Blue Ridge sends Jason Benito, Jason Benito into the game. And the Falcons are going to assign Max Lupe into the lineup for the final 51 seconds of the first period. Let you know what our upcoming broadcast schedule looks like in a bit. And I believe we just made an adjustment to that and we'll pick up a, a Saturday game at Winslow High School. Does that sound right? Monument Valley at Winslow? I think it does. Into the paint, dish back outside. It's gonna roll around a bit and it will not go in for Max Lupe. But the Falcons will get it back. It tips into the hands of the big fella. And another shot inside. Shot was missed by Frederick Cole, and then Max Lupe missed and bounced around and a, and a whistle and a foul. It looks like the Yellow Jackets. Called for a foul. Grenil picks up his first foul of the game. Three team fouls on the Yellow Jackets. Two on the Falcons, by the way. No, the other way around. Two on, on the Yellow Jackets, three on the Falcons. Have seen a lot of whistles out of this officiating crew. And a good defensive play by Grenil, forcing the ball handler, LaDamian George, out near the half court stripe. And he ends up dribbling into backcourt. And that call is going to give the Yellow Jackets the basketball. 15 seconds remaining. 
First quarter, nine to nine. Granillo taking his time, working some time off the clock. Dribbles now, attacks. Boy, I think he got, got away with a double dribble, if I'm not mistaken. And then he got a little bit of contact to make the shot. Hey, look at this. One of the officials saw it. Paul Hancock saw the same thing I did. Double dribble before the foul. And that's going to be a turnover. Yep, I, I thought he grabbed it with that free hand. And so did the official. And there's a quick whistle right there. Out of bounds, Yellow Jacket ball. Well, Blue Ridge going to get it back with 2.4 seconds. Got to run the inbound play. Who are you going to look for? Carson Rex right here. Maybe roll into the basket, get something high in the air. We'll see. Nope, outside, Granillo. And he pulls up top of the key for three at the buzzer, and the shot is going to be a little bit too long, and the Jackets unable to, to cash in on that last second chance. But it don't matter. We got a great game going on here at Blue Ridge High School. Nine to nine, our score going into the second quarter. All right, stand by for that second period. Up next right here. And Sports O Radio, it's Northland Basketball. Blue Rich, out to say, this boys game tied at nine. Summit Healthcare is offering booster doses of the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, as well as initial doses for the unvaccinated. The vaccine and boosters are available at Summit's drive through clinic at 4951 South White Mountain Road, Building A in Sholo. Be sure to follow the red signage to find the clinic location. There is no appointment necessary, but do remember to bring your vaccination card. Protect those you love, get vaccinated, and take advantage of Summit Healthcare's drive through clinic with no appointment necessary. The team at Beam & Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for beam and well drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Packed house at Blue Ridge High School, everybody, and a lot of Valcher State fans are in the house. As Blue Ridge inbounds the ball, and we get the second quarter underway. Yeah, yeah, got a little bit of a frog in my throat. That's not me. I'm not, I'm not, uh, my voice is not changing and cracking because I'm entering my, my teens. No, a little bit old for that. Second quarter underway, a, a tie game, nine to nine. The Yellow Jackets have it at the top. Logan Joe drops it to... Drops it inside to Nate Padilla. His turnaround in the paint is no good. And the rebound belongs to the Falcons as we get the second quarter going for you, folks. Thanks for being with us on our broadcast of Northland Basketball at Sports on Radio. Into the paint. Ball taken away. Jump ball. Good defense from behind. Dribbling in was Trevor Peaches. Nope. I, uh, yeah, well, I guess it was Trevor, yeah. And, uh, and a good job on defense by Jason Bonito. He was able to get hands in behind the play. Tie it up. And our score here is 9 to 9. Falcons with the inbound. Quick return pass to the inbound passer. Gavin Butterfield missed the three. Loose ball. Scooped up by the Jack uh, by the uh, Falcons. Ladamian George now left side. Burnett. Nope. Butterfield. Pardon me on that. And Gavin Butterfield drops in a big three-pointer for the Falcons. They move ahead. First points of the second quarter are scored by Alchese. 12 to 9. On the angle left side. Reed Granillo. And now to the high post. Carson Rex back return to Logan Joe for a three toward that left corner. And there's the first points of the game. For Logan Joe, and it comes in the form of a much-needed three for the for the uh, Jackets to tie it, and then Gavin Butterfield breaks the tie with his third three of the game for the Falcons, 15 to 12. Dallas is saying in front. Great job by our our broadcast team, our video production team, led by our producer Derek Simmons. Our technical director is David Simmons, and R.J. Tate. Working camera for us in this big game. Pull up jump shot on the left baseline. And Logan Joe, who did not score in the first quarter, comes out, gets the first five points of the second quarter. For the Jackets, who trail by one, 15 to 14. Alchese in front. Ball at the free throw line. 
Dribbling around is Anthony Gossiam. And a drive that produces a foul, LaDamian George on the drive. No, nope, offensive foul. Somebody trying to set a pick out there. Gossiam is the guy that picked it up. And I think that's his, I believe that's his second foul of the game. Fourth team foul on the Falcons. This officiating crew, there was a moment, there was a moment in that first quarter I thought they, they really should have blown a whistle. I thought that Rex Carson was, he was uh, mugged pretty hard as he gets an assist. No, no, won't get the assist. He, nice touch pass to his teammate underneath, but Padilla couldn't make the shot. And uh, I thought that was at that one moment on contact on Carson that no call was made. Outside of that, I, I can't argue with this officiating crew. They're doing a great job. And obviously a very veteran, outstanding officiating team out there led by Paul Hancock as we watch Logan Joe from three. That's no good. Tipped around. But I say all that because the foul totals on these two teams very low. And, and there's going to be the third team foul now. Just the third team foul. Oh, no, make it the fifth team foul on the foul. I was looking at the wrong number. The Yellow Jackets have two team fouls now. The fifth team foul. Logan Joe Called on the Falcons. And I have that as Gosayan's third personal foul. So I wonder if, I wonder if Coach real, realizes that on the on the Alcha State bench. Bounce pass inside to Nate Padilla. Good job. Assist for Reed Grineo. Shot is good for Nate. And he is going to be shooting a for a three-point play here. Upton picks up his second foul. Game on that whistle. Padilla with a chance for a three-point play. He's made two out of two from the line already in the game. Missed that one, though. Yellow Jackets are in front, 16-15 after Padilla's basket, and they'll steal it. Logan Joe with the steal. Padilla in the paint, has to go back outside with it. Granillo back on the left angle to Logan Joe. Good job moving the ball inside to Padilla for the points. And the guy that got the assist there on the beautiful pass is Cesar Benillo. He made it real easy for Nate Padilla. Just a great job with those two players knowing exactly where each other is. And Reed, Reed Granillo going to get a steal. Up ahead to Benito. Lefty off the glass. Benito's shot is good. And a nice little run coming together right now. Oh, it's Benito. Sorry, I've been saying Benito. There's a Jason Benito on the Blue Ridge roster and a Cesar Benito who made that shot. Yellow Jackets with a run coming out, pulling out, scoring six great, great points and getting a 20 to 15 lead here in the second quarter, forcing a timeout for the Falcons. Northland basketball presented by Choice Wireless and Sports Zone Radio. The year was 2011. Tim Tebow was still playing quarterback in high school, but he was about to become a legend with his team behind 17 to nothing. He was tackled and broke his leg. Despite the excruciating pain, he told his coach, don't take me out of the game I want to play. Tim led his team back and scored the game-winning touchdown on a 20-yard run. The start of the Tim Tebow legend. This is Sports Zone Radio's Byron Brown with a message from Beeler Orthodontics and Sholo. A message to every young White Mountains athlete to never give up. Beeler Orthodontics, live life with a smile. Back to the action at uh, Blue Ridge High School, everybody. Northland basketball is presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless, and Sports on Radio. And after a 20 to 15 start to the game tonight for the Yellow Jackets, the Falcons will get the inbound about the halfway mark of the second quarter. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report comes up at the break. Three point try, no good for Butterfield out there. Falcons give it up. They might get it back. It's tipped around, knocked around, knocked out of bounds. Falcon defense touched last. Blue Ridge, the possession. Looking for the inbound. They'll get it into the corner left side. It comes into... Well, let's see. They're going to work it inside underneath. Oh, now it's a bad decision to turn around against the much taller defender, Upton. Yeah, bad decision by Cesar Benillo. He got a shot blocked. And then a foul got called. Upton is the guy that committed that foul. Yeah, that's three in the game. Three fouls on 
Kakoa Upton. Ponio to the line. Caesar at the line for the Yellow Jackets. Seventh team foul on the, on the Falcons. And the free throw is good for Bonillo. Well, the Falcons played a, a really great first quarter, I thought, overall. And they, they're kind of unraveling here in the last couple of moments of this one. Second free throw, no good for Bonillo. Rebound comes down to Frederick Cole, and the Falcons bring it up the floor. Cole in the paint, fingertip roll, no good there. Got it back. And he also got fouled. Does he get two out of it? I don't think it's a two-shot foul. I think they're going to say not in the act of shooting. Malachi T.C. Smith committing that foul. Here comes Carson Rex into the lineup for the Yellow Jackets. Logan Joe goes out of the game for Blue Ridge. 21-15, Blue Ridge. They have been uh, busy out there. I, I think that's eight straight points by the Yellow Jackets to get out to this 21-15 lead. Well, it's going to end right there. A nice lefty from the free throw line. And Dante Ship gets his first bucket of the game for the Falcons. They needed to stop that Blue Ridge run, and they did right there. Jackets by four. Outside for a three-point try. It's no good. Tips around. Padilla has the offensive rebound. Came up short. Got it back. Now he makes it off the glass for the Jackets. And then got the foul on Frederick Cole. Check it, Dante Ship, second foul of the game for the Falcons. And that this is another and one opportunity for Nate Padilla. Second of the quarter for Nate. Second foul of the game, by the way, on Dante Ship. And a six point lead for the Yellow Jackets, 23 to 17. 250 showing on the clock here in the first half. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report comes up at halftime. Thank you to. Jace Green and Kevin Kerr and the great team. And Mountain Mobile Autoglass and Tent for their partnership here at Sports Zone Radio. And they'll bring you the halftime report coming up at the break. Reed Granillo on defense gets a hand on the Kakoa Upton uh, dribble and knocks it out of bounds. So a reset for the Falcons. And they'll throw it in with 339, 239 remaining in the, in the first half. The ball comes in to Frank Lee Jr. And Granillo picks his pocket, takes it away. The one-handed push, bounce pass up the floor. And underneath the basket, Carson Rex unable to save the ball for his team. Hey, look at that blind save on a pass going out of bounds by Frank Lee. His team, his team able to keep possession and draw a foul to get to the line. Gavin Butterfield at the free throw line on the Jason Benito foul. What a play by Frank Lee Jr to save a ball that was clearly going out of bounds. You see it on the replay here coming up. Our guy's giving you the look. Here's the, the long outlet pass looking for Frank up that sideline. He was literally out of bounds with a blind touch pass back in for his guys. And they get to the free throw line for two shots. Gavin Butterfield misses the first one for the Falcons, trailing by seven. Blue Ridge 24. There's a good look up the sideline from that camera look there, Derek Simmons' camera. And you can just barely see it as Frank is going out of bounds. Good save for the Falcons. Butterfield at the line, missed the first, made the second. Nah, not going to count. Oh, no, counts. The bucket does count. Violation of some kind, but the bucket good nonetheless. 24-18, our score. Blue Ridge with the basketball, the inbound, and Jason Bonito brings it up and travels. Back to the Falcons with 2.12 remaining in the first half. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint halftime report coming up at the break. LaDamian George tries to lob it inside. Falcon pass taken away. The attack and the blind pass to the corner left side. Grineo was pulling up. And uh, J uh, Jaron Burnett thought he was, he was going to fill. And uh, that one is out of bounds. Falcons basketball. Carson Rex checks out of the game. And I think that was Logan Joe coming back in for the Yellow Jackets. Twenty-four, eighteen, 18 our score. 
Lob inside. That gets tipped around, knocked around. And eventually picked up by the Yellow Jackets. They've got it. And they attack Benito up off the glass. Rolls around, would not go in for the man. And tied up on the rebound. Padilla had hands on it. For the Jackets, so did Dante Ship for the Falcons. And that'll be a jump ball inbound coming your direction for the Yellow Jackets. They set the inbound play, looking. Here's the curl inside by Logan Joe, and he's fouled by Cole, Frederick Cole, picking up that personal foul. And Logan Joe a chance at the line. Well, Joe had a great start to the second quarter. Remember that first minute, minute and a half? He was able to... Get a three-point bucket, then he got a, a little baseline jump shot for, for two more. And then he, he's been silent since then and misses this first foul shot to keep the score 24-18 as we pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Sports Zone Radio Network. This is Sports Zone Radio. Zone Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio. The foul shot is good as you listen to our broadcast coverage of Northland Basketball Sports on Radio and listen live on our broadcast partner in the White Mountains. Mix 98, KRFM Sholo. And a bounce pass inside that the Yellow Jackets are able to tip around and almost, almost come, come away with. Falcons will reset the offense. Hey, nice look at that uh, gentleman right there who made a, a great play on the ball, a great save on the ball. Inbound. Comes in to, to Butterfield for the Falcons, but he, he let the ball go into backcourt. Did not want to get called for the violation, so he waited to retrieve it and then almost lost it out of bounds. You saw it there on the on the video. Granillo tips it around and almost comes over the Yellow Jacket steal. A minute remaining in the first half. 25-18. Blue Ridge, the lead. Drive, and Nate Padilla blocks the shot of LaDamian George. The Yellow Jackets run, and it's too strong off the, off the lip by Granillo as he sensed the defender coming up on him. The follow by the Jackets also wouldn't go, but they got a foul out of it. I believe they got a foul out of it. Two shots on the way for Blue Ridge. Nope. Yep. Yeah, it's two shots. And they decide eventually that Jason Bonito is, is the guy. He is the Yellow Jacket. Going to the free throw line. Uh, personal foul on LaDamian George of Alchese. That is team foul number number nine in the game. Nope, number 10. Double bonus. Second foul of the game on LaDamian. And Bonito. Gets the nice home court bounce. Shot goes in. By the way, four team fouls on the Yellow Jackets. There goes Padilla out of the game. Carson Rex returning to the lineup for the Jackets. 26-18. Blue Ridge in front. Bonito will make it 27. Yellow Jackets at the free throw line. Pretty good in the first half of this game. Seven out of eight from the foul line. 35 seconds left in the first half. Falcons taking some time with it. Brand new head coach for Alchese at present. Josh Henry is the new head coach. Remember him? The last time we saw him, he was leading the, the JV boys basketball team. And the previous head coach, Kyle Goklish, no longer the guy calling the shots for this team. 17 seconds remaining in the first half. The Mountain Mobile Autoglass and Tint halftime report on the way. 12 seconds now. Counting down. Butterfield has it for the Falcons now. Six seconds remain in the half. Butterfield at the top. Two defenders on him. Turns with two seconds and able to knock it down and beat the buzzer and send us into halftime with a great shot for the Falcons. That is Gavin Butterfield with his fourth three-pointer of the first half. And the Falcons pulled it within six as we go into halftime. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report is on the way in a moment, everybody. We will break it down for you right here. Don't go anywhere. 27-21, Blue Ridge in front of Alchese, a great game in front of a packed house. 
at Yellow Jacket Gymnasium. And the halftime report is coming your way next. Stand by for it. Northland Basketball, presented by Sports Zone Radio. Need COVID relief? Cellular One is here to help with free unlimited data to individuals on qualifying government assistance through the Emergency Broadband Program. On government assistance or the free or reduced hot lunch or breakfast programs, then you may qualify for this special limited time program. Cellular One can help with free talk and text and free unlimited data. Find out how to qualify at any Cellular One store near you. Emergency Broadband is a government benefit program and customers must qualify. Some restrictions apply. Limited time only, non-transferable, limited to one line per household. Any insurance agent can provide a quote, return a phone call, or claim to have the best rates. But will your current agent fight alongside you if and when you need to make a claim, discuss options when life changes, or put you and your needs first? At the Troy Merrill Farmers Insurance Agency, that's exactly who you'll get. People over profit. Years of expertise and knowledge, personalized service, and a straightforward, comprehensive, and cost-effective insurance solution. Call or visit the Merrill Farmers Insurance Agency now and experience exactly what you've been missing. Summit Healthcare is offering booster doses of the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, as well as initial doses for the unvaccinated. The vaccine and boosters are available at Summit's drive through clinic at 4951 South White Mountain Road, Building A in Sholo. Be sure to follow the red signage to find the clinic location. There is no appointment necessary, but do remember to bring your vaccination card. Protect those you love, get vaccinated, and take advantage of Summit Healthcare's drive through clinic with no appointment necessary. The year was 2011. Tim Tebow was still playing quarterback in high school, but he was about to become a legend with his team behind 17 to nothing. He was tackled and broke his leg. Despite the excruciating pain, he told his coach, don't take me out of the game I want to play. Tim led his team back and scored the game game-winning touchdown on a 20-yard run. The start of the Tim Tebow legend. This is Sports Zone Radio's Byron Brown with a message from Beeler Orthodontics and Sholo. A message to every young White Mountains athlete to never give up. Beeler Orthodontics, live life with a smile. <laughs> This month, we are giving away turkeys. And back by popular demand, we are doing it again. Yeehaw! We are giving away two more tickets to the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas and two more tickets to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba live in concert. When you use Mountain Mobile Auto Glass to replace your insured windshield, your name goes in the hat and your name could be drawn as the winner of two premium lower level seats to see the championship night of the National Finals. Finals Rodeo, plus two tickets that same weekend to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba live in concert on their last tour. And this month, everyone gets a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Keep it yourself, or we will donate it in your name to your favorite White Mountain Food Bank. Call Mountain Mobile Auto Glass today. 536 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Cash Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. And it's halftime at Blue Ridge High School. Welcome in as we break it down for you on a pretty exciting first half. Well, this game was uh, a slow start for both of these teams. They really couldn't get their offenses ignited in that first quarter. They ended that first period tied. Uh, they are tied at nine apiece was our score at the end of at the end of one. And then the Yellow Jackets, uh, they did come to life. Logan Joe got them the start with a big three, and he followed that up with a nice baseline jump shot for two. And then, uh, and then Nate Padilla got involved. Nate working inside, doing some big work. I mean, he's, you know, between him and uh, Carson Rex, the two tallest guys on the floor, both belong to Blue Ridge. And Padilla using that height effectively, getting in and around the basket to get some work done. And in fact, he scored seven points in the quarter, has 11 in the first half to lead the scoring for the Yellow Jackets. And he, he helped to get them out to a, a sizable lead right there at the buzzer. Gavin Butterfield hit his fourth three of the first half for the Falcons to get his team to within six. 
So our score is 27-21, and Nate Padilla having the big offensive half for the Jackets. Logan Joe has six points for the Yellow Jackets. Carson Rex, five points. Cesar Benillo has three, and Jason Benito has two points for the Yellow Jackets. And for the Falcons, all of their scoring belongs to three individuals. Gavin Butterfield has four threes and has 15 points in the game. What a half a play by Gavin. Four points for LaDamian George of Alchese, and Dante Ship has the remaining two points for the Falcons. They need to get more guys involved, kind of like the, in the girls' game. The uh, Yellow Jackets did not, the uh, Lady Yellow Jack did not have a lot of first half scoring. Outside, I think they had two players have all their first half scoring. Falcons having a similar problem with the boys here tonight. I mean, Gavin Butterfield's having a great half and four threes. I mean, you love to see that, right? But they need some other guys to start figuring into the mix. This this team, uh, this out to say team that doesn't have a victory yet this season. And coming to get, come into the game 0-5, 0-5. On the other side, the Yellow Jackets are undefeated. They're 3-0. And with performances like the one they got in the first half by Nate Padilla, you know, it's not hard to see why. Second half underway in just a bit. On Saturday, Monument Valley at Winslow. Monument Valley at Winslow, and we'll have live coverage for you from Winslow High School, Sports Zone Radio live coverage. And we will let you know if we will also have live video. We'll let you know by midday Saturday what that live video situation may or may not look like. It might be a radio-only broadcast on Saturday, but we know for sure Sports Zone Radio is going to be ha on hand at Winslow High School. And that you can count on. Well, 27-21 is our halftime score here in this boys varsity matchup. The Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets out in front of Alchese. Great game, great crowd. And the second half will get underway in just a few moments. We'll get a word in from our presenting sponsors of the halftime reports. That is Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint. Back to Blue Ridge for the second half right after these messages. <laughs> This month, we are giving away turkeys. And back by popular demand, we are doing it again. Yeehaw! We are giving away two more tickets to the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas and two more tickets to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba live in concert. When you use Mountain Mobile Auto Glass to replace your insured windshield, your name goes in the hat and your name could be drawn as the winner of two premium lower level seats to see the championship night of the National Finals Finals Rodeo, plus two tickets that same weekend to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba live in concert on their last tour. And this month, everyone gets a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Keep it yourself or we will donate it in your name to your favorite White Mountain Food Bank. Call Mountain Mobile Auto Glass today. Five, three, six, five, nine, Insurance is a must, but that doesn't mean you must go broke just paying for it. Contact Joe Bjorn State Farm Insurance for a game plan on saving more of your money. Joe and his team offer home, life, auto insurance, and more. With Joe as your insurance quarterback, you'll score big each and every time. And with State Farm cheering you on, how can you lose? Joe Bjorn State Farm Insurance, providing blanket coverage of the entire White Mountains. Call Joe at 928-536-7101. That's 928. 536-7101. Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your Healthcare partner when choices matter. Thank you to White Mountain Regional Medical Center for their sponsorship of Northland Basketball here at Sports on Radio. They also present the Sports on Radio Player of the Game at the conclusion of each of our broadcasts, all basketball season long, all into the spring season as well. So, again, a big thank you to our good friends. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center and the Sports Zone Radio Player of the Game will be presented a little later. 
Second half underway as the Falcons get the inbound and get the first shot of the game right inside, just inside the free throw line. LaDamian George is the guy, and George has the first Falcons second half points. They pulls it within four points of Blue Ridge, 27-23. Blue Ridge out in front. And we welcome you all back into Northland Basketball, everybody. I'm Floyd Simmons. And our broadcast crew includes our producer, our video live producer, that's Derek Simmons. Our technical director is David Simmons and R.J. Tate working the camera for us tonight on this broadcast of Northland Basketball. Guys, you are doing a great job. Each and every one of you. 27-23. Upton has it for the Falcons to Frank Lee for a three-point try. And Frank was a little bit off the mark there. Comes right down into the hands of Reed Granillo and the Jackets attack. Dish, boy, nice job somehow by Logan Joe. <laughs> Maintaining the basketball, getting it into the hands of Nate Padilla underneath as, as Logan drew the defense, he gets the assist and Padilla gets the basket for the Yellow Jackets. And they get back out in front by six points. There's a miss by the Falcons and a rebound by Carson Rex. Five starters for the second half for the Yellow Jackets include Logan Joe standing out there outside the left side of the floor there, outside the perimeter. Gives it up. Logan Joe, Carson Rex, Reed Guernillo now on the bounce pass inside. Has it taken away. Nate Padilla and Cesar Bonillo, second half starters. Ball. For the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, the Out State Falcons, the who will have the ball for an inbound now. They will work the ball into Kakoa Upton. He is joined by LaDamian George in the second half starting five for the Falcons. There is a runner that misses. Rebound, and the putback is good Anthony by Anthony Kosayan. Anthony makes the shot. Falcons back to within four after that. The other uh, starters out there for the Falcons besides Gosean and Upton and George. Mentioned those guys already. Dante Ship starts the second half, and so does Gavin Butterfield, who leads the scoring for the Falcons with 15 points in the game. 29-25. It's our score. So we get a stoppage of play, and Granillo gets set to throw it in for the Yellow Jackets. In for Blue Ridge, here they come with it, 29-25. Jackets in front on the angle right side. Logan Joe has it to the corner, now back outside. Granillo on the left angle. Surveying the court, looking inside for an option. There's a dish, a pass. Boy, that probably should have been taken away. Jackets were fortunate. A dribble that does get knocked loose. We're gonna get a foul by the Falcons underneath. Working the baseline was Cesar Benillo. Dante Ship, third personal foul in the game. First, second half foul for the Falcons, and Logan Joe will lob it in. Comes into Nate Padilla, turnaround in the paint, and he'll miss it off the back iron. I, I think he drew the foul for two shots. Go Certainly did get fouled, and it will be a shooting foul. Anthony it's Anthony Gossian who picks up the foul. I think, I think that's his fourth foul of the game. Gonna go retrieve him. Standing by to come into the game is Frederick Cole. Two shots and Padilla makes the first. Frederick Cole coming back in. Padilla's shot is good. Second one no good and Cole who just came into the game, has the rebound. Drive, push, runner in the paint, and goes up with the lefty. Not good out there for Ship, Dante. The Falcons will get it back underneath. Upton has the basket and the foul. Strong to the hoop for Kakoa Upton. And it's Reed Granillo getting whistled for the foul, his second of the game for the Yellow Jackets.
Guy at the free throw line is Kakoa Upton. And he is able to make the shot in the end one. And we've got a three-point game, at least according to, to my book. Oh, you know what? We don't. Because I gave Nate Padilla credit for two foul shots last time up. He missed the second one on that. So it is 30 to 28. That's our score. That's accurate. And the Yellow Jackets from the corner for a three. Bonillo out there. Caesar making the shot. He's got six points in the game. For the Jackets, they're back in front by five now. 33-28. Cole drives to the free throw line. Kick it out. And Upton called for traveling. So the ball will go back the other way. Yellow Jackets have the basketball. And thank you for joining us for our broadcast coverage of Northland basketball here at Sports on Radio. 33-28, Blue Ridge. Coming up on Saturday, we'll be at Winslow High School. Monument Valley at Winslow. It's Northland basketball, everybody. And a three on the way, and good! And he felt it, and he knew it was good from the start. Jaron Burnett, first points of the game for Jaron, and the Jackets are out in front by eight. Two consecutive threes made by Blue Ridge to give them some separation. They lead by eight points now. He may get it back. Nope, missed three. Oh, a nice rebound and reverse lay-in. Brandon to the floor, Malachi Lupi. Did a good job, stayed with it, reversed it in, and made it a 36-30 game. Still a lead for the Yellow Jackets. Bonillo on the baseline, soft little jumper, good for Caesar. Eight points in the game for Caesar Bonillo. The guy that leads the scoring right now for the Yellow Jackets, Nate Padilla, has 14 points. And is this going to be a steal? It's uh, lost on the dribble and out of bounds. Out of bounds, and the guy that lost it out, Dante Ship, he looks over to the bench and says, hey, I'm gassed, I'm gassed. Coach, I need a break. You come out and you start the second half, play five minutes of the second half. I mean, and, uh, you know, you got to, takes a while to get your second win, doesn't it? Jackets to the high post at the free throw line. That's Padilla, kicks it back outside. Logan Joe faked a three, step to the left. Three-point try is again, that's no good. And it's rebounded by Cole up to, to Upton. His pass tipped, knocked up in the air, almost got it back. But it's picked up instead by Padilla. Nate has it for the Jackets. Up the floor, Garnillo. Drop back pass, Logan Joe. Missed the shot, got a lot of contact. The, the, the fans, the Yellow Jacket fans are wondering where's that whistle? Outlet pass for the Falcons. Tipped out, somebody on that Jackets team Falcons to inbound the ball. Timeout, though, taken to discuss it. And a word from Summit Healthcare, everybody. 38-30, Blue Ridge in front here in the third period. Northland basketball at Sports Zone Radio. Stand by. Summit Healthcare is offering booster doses of the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, as well as initial doses for the unvaccinated. The vaccine and boosters are available at Summit's drive through clinic at 4951 South White Mountain Road, Building A in Sholo. Be sure to follow the red signage to find the clinic location. There is no appointment necessary, but do remember to bring your vaccination card. Protect those you love, get vaccinated, and take advantage of Summit Healthcare's drive through clinic with no appointment necessary. From the timeout, 38 to 30, and, and you see that uh, graphic on the board for White Mountain Regional Medical Center. They will present the Sports on Radio Player of the Game at the conclusion of our broadcast here. This boys varsity game at Blue Ridge High School. Back into it. Good tight defense by Reed Granillo. And a steal. Logan Joe steals a pass. Granillo can't finish in transition for the Jackets. Rebound inside, and the Yellow Jackets lose the ball. And the guy that lost it is in a lot of pain. He's on his feet, though, and he gets the ball. That's a jump shot in the paint. Now I'm talking about Jaron Burnett. Follow on the rebound, and that shot is good by Carson Rex. First points of the third period for Carson. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. At Blue Ridge High School, a 10-point Yellow Jacket lead. And 
I believe that is their biggest lead of the game here. Whistle foul on Jaron Burnett of Blue Ridge. Second foul of the game. At least I have it as a second. The scoreboard says one foul on Jaron. I'll go with their numbers because they are the official scorekeeper. So we'll say one foul. Trouble and ball given up by the Falcons. There is Bonillo driving. He missed. He'll get it back on a pass in the paint from Reed Granillo. But Bonillo was unable to seal the deal on that possession. The Falcons have it back, but they trail big. Trail by 10. 95 seconds left, third quarter. Now just say with the ball and a drive, at least Gavin Butterfield tried to drive, and Logan Joe reached back and got a hand on his dribble, knocked it out. 40 to 30, Blue Ridge in front. Afternoon games on Saturday. Afternoon games on Saturday at Winslow High School. And on the inbound, Frank Lee Jr. steps into the game and then took too many steps as he got the pass. 40 to 30, Blue Ridge in front. Monument Valley at Winslow on Saturday. The girls' game starts at at 3.30. And the varsity boys' game will start at around 5 o'clock. And Winslow High School on Saturday. Join us for the broadcast coverage here at Sports on Radio. And remember, it's an early game. On Saturday, there's an outlet pass by the Falcons taken away by Reed Granillo. We're supposed to give away some tickets. Phoenix Suns tickets. Jackets drive and throw it away. Falcons get it back on a pass stolen in the paint. And then a yellow jacket foul called as Butterfield dribbling up the right sideline right in front of the Falcons bench. And the guy that got him was Jason Benito. Folks, Charlotte is coming to Phoenix on Sunday for a game against your Phoenix Suns. Are you interested? Would you like to go? We'll give away some tickets in the fourth quarter. Pull up, jump shot, good for three. Frank Lee knocks it down for the Falcons. Wrong guy, Derek. It's the other guy. Frank is the guy, that, number 12. He buries that three, and for Frank, his first points in the game. 37 seconds left, third quarter. Logan Joe has it. Dribble to the left baseline, brought it back outside. 30 seconds now remaining in the quarter. Dribble around, step back, left side, Logan Joe. It's short. Rebounded by Bonillo, Jason Bonillo into the, oh, Benito, pardon me, into the game, and he'll get fouled. And he'll go to the free throw line. Upton picks up the foul. the foul on Bonillo. Coming to the end of the third quarter, 21 seconds remain in this third period. Falcons were trying to work their way back in, but the lead for the Yellow Jackets goes back out to eight points, 41-33. The guy at the line, Jason Benito, free throw good. Second one off the mark, but an offensive rebound for Logan Joe. Three-pointer. Left side, Benito wouldn't go in. Ball bounces off somebody's head into the hands of Carson Rex. He missed. Logan Joe, he goes up with the rebound and got, just got smashed to the ground. That's a jump ball. Yep. Hand on top of the ball brought him straight to the deck. Inbound for the Yellow Jackets on the possession arrow. 9.7 seconds left in the third period. Jackets looking, Granillo throws it in. Out on top, Jaron Burnett in the corner. Granillo, drive, bounce pass, knocked away. Two seconds on the clock, picked up by Frank Lee Jr. for the Falcons, and he is unable to do anything with it. That brings us to the end now of the third period. The Jackets on top by eight. Stand by, everybody. The fourth quarter is on the way next here from Blue Ridge High School. It's Northland Basketball, presented by Sports Zone Radio. Stand by. 
Insurance is a must, but that doesn't mean you must go broke just paying for it. Contact Joe Bjorn State Farm Insurance for a game plan on saving more of your money. Joe and his team offer home, life, auto insurance, and more. With Joe as your insurance quarterback, you'll score big each and every time. And with State Farm cheering you on, how can you lose? Joe Bjorn State Farm Insurance, providing blanket coverage of the entire White Mountains. Call Joe at 928-536-7101. That's 928-536-7101. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Well, the fourth quarter is about to get underway, everybody. And we always thank you for joining us for our broadcast coverage of Northland basketball at Sports on Radio. Inbound, Falcons, fourth quarter. Underway. This is, uh, well, this is crunch time, isn't it? Falcons looking for their first victory of the season. They are 0 5 coming in. And a victory over the over the Yellow Jackets would be just what the doctor ordered for Coach Josh Henry, the new coach of the Falcons and his team. But they're going to have to wait for a little bit because there's a transition basket for Reed Granillo. Reed, picks, Reed has his first points of the game now. 43-33, back to a 10-point Yellow Jacket lead. Beautiful pass! That finds Jason Benito underneath for his bucket, but give all the credit to Jaron Burnett as he throws the the the, uh, the pill, the baseball pass through the defense. Beautiful pass for the assist. And the biggest lead of the game now for the Yellow Jackets, 12 points. And let's get a word from our presenting sponsors of the Sports Zone Radio Player of the Game. That's White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Back to Blue Ridge right after this. Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Forty-five, thirty-three. that's our score. Sorry about that again. A little crackage, a little frog in my throat. You watched the replay there. And a great pass up the floor to Reed Granillo, those watching on video. Thanks for joining us for our broadcast coverage of Northland basketball at Sports Zone Radio. And after the timeout, the Yellow Jackets will try to add to their biggest lead of the game. They lead by 12 right now. Ball inside to Carson Rex. Kicks it back outside, and the Yellow Jackets take some time down. Contact on a pass outside to, to Jaron Burnett, and he's in a lot of pain. He got smacked up. up in his noggin there, but he's back on his feet, still playing. No call, no foul. I guess the official would say on that that they, they were both going for the ball simultaneously. Both going, they both have a right to the ball, I guess, on that. So the, the collision was kind of uh, incidental. So no call. 45-33 Yellow Jackets. Beautiful pass inside. But they'll kick it back outside, and the Yellow Jackets take more time off the clock. Bonito, drive, reverse lay-in. Beautiful by Bonito. Jason Bonito. Love that shot. And now 47-33 Yellow Jackets drive, and the Falcons will try their own version of that reverse lay-in. Dante Ship Dante fouled. Ship. And the guy that got him was Carson Rex. Carson's first foul today. 14 fouls on the Yellow Jackets. The Falcons have three right now, and I believe the Falcons have two timeouts remaining here in the game. But I could be wrong about that. Don't, don't, uh, okay, just one timeout left for the Falcons. How about, how about the other side? How about the Yellow Jackets? What are they looking at? 
Foul shot good, by the way, by Dante Ship. How about the, foul, uh, the uh, Yellow Jackets? How many timeouts? Four timeouts. Blue Ridge has only used one timeout in the, in the entire game. Since the second quarter, the Yellow Jackets have had the lead the entire time as we watch Dante Ship miss his second foul shot. Made the first one. 13-point Yellow Jacket lead. Beautiful pass. Jason Benito, the assist. Logan Joe got the easy basket because his teammates set him up beautifully for it. And a steal. How about uh, Jason Benito having a great second half for the Jackets. Gets a steal, gets an assist because he, he fed his teammate cutting nicely. Jaron Burnett got the bucket, but it's Jason Bonito that's making everything happen right now for the Yellow Jackets. The straw that is steering the drink out there for Blue Ridge. 3.42 remaining in regulation. 51-34, the Jackets pulling away. 17-point lead, and the dribble is lost by Frank Lee. And the Jackets have it up the floor, open, and a drive on the baseline. It's good and celebrated by Jaron Burnett after he makes that shot. He's got back-to-back -back buckets for the Jackets and seven points in the game and a foul now Logan is called Joe on Logan Ridge. Joe of Blue Ridge. That is team foul number five right now on the Jackets. 317 remaining. Blue Ridge comfortably in front. 19-point lead. As the Jackets fight to stay undefeated, they're 3-0 right now. And nah, difficulty with the dribble. Jackets defense getting tenacious, getting in there. Logan Joe and uh, his teammate, uh, Jaron Burnett, surrounding, surrounding the ball handler. And Jaron gets his second foul call of the game. Inbound, Dante Ship. Sends it in to Frank Lee. Falcon fans starting to head for the exits. Three minutes remaining. And a three-pointer is good. Well, maybe they're leaving just a little bit early because Gavin Butterfield has his fifth three now of the game. 18 points for the Falcon sharpshooter. 53-37, Blue Ridge in front. And a pass. Well, Bonito threw another good pass. And Jaron Burnett should have had that, but I don't know if he just saw it late, was unable to gather in the pass for the Yellow Jackets, goes out of bounds. Stop the clock, 2.39 remaining in regulation. Looks like we are going to be speaking with the Yellow Jackets in our post game, everybody. Because their lead is handsome at 16 points right now. Right? Can I can I put it that way? A handsome lead for the uh, Yellow Jackets. Pass finds its way to Nate Padilla inside. He wanted a foul on Dante Ship. Did not get one. The official did not grant nor agree. And these teams just having trouble taking care of the basketball right now. Upton drives floater. Back iron, no good. Got it back. Hit the same spot on that back iron. It's no good again. And this time it's the Yellow Jackets coming away with the basketball. Drive, Burnett, kick out way outside. Minute 44 remaining. Three-pointer from Burnett. It's no good. Padilla, the rebound. And the Jackets are going to take time off. Carson Rex gets the feed in the paint, and he got fouled by Dante Ship from behind. So we'll talk with Janet. I believe Janet Rex is the head coach. I don't know, be, between her and her husband, they share those duties, Craig Rex. Craig, is, is Janet officially the head coach? Janet's the head coach, right? Craig says, that's his wife, by the way. It's, it's Craig and Janet Rex, the husband and wife team that are the head coaches of Blue Ridge. Uh, Janet's the head coach. And she's been up off her feet, making a lot of noise throughout the game, instructing her guys, her team. And they're going to get a win over Alchese here in this one tonight. Craig, from the end of the bench there, I yelled at him. I was asking him, he heard me, and he said, he said, I'm retired. Janet's the one in charge here. All right. Jackets content to take a bunch of time down. Drive by Carson Rex. Kicks it to Padilla in the corner. 
Back to Zebonino. Yep. Two more for Jason Bonito on the drive. He's got nine points in the game. And I don't know, you know, after the great job that Jason has done to help his team pull away here in the fourth period, I think that Jason is, well, he's certainly a very strong candidate for the Sports on Radio Player of the Game. That will be brought to you in just moments by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Let me uh, see if I can get a vote for Derek. What do you think, Derek? You got a vote? Derek votes for Jason Benito. How about how about R.J. Tate up there? Let's get a vote from R.J. Who does he think the – you like number three? He likes uh, he likes Jason Benito. I mean, the other strong candidate is, is Nate Padilla, who is the high point man for the Yellow Jackets. He's got 14 points in the game. I think uh, between those two guys, you, you get your decision. So we got two votes for Jason. You get a whistle and – Timeout. Falcons take timeout with 20.6 seconds remaining. Let's find out from our, our our technical director, David Simmons. David, ask David. Derek, he, he can't hear me. He can't see me. Ask David for a vote. What do you think, David? Does he have anybody in particular that he uh, he likes? He likes number 13, Caleb Mink, who hasn't played today. <laughs> Or does he like three? I think that he's voting. I think he just gave Benito another vote. My vote then really doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I could vote for, for Jason. I could vote for Nate Padilla. And it, it wouldn't matter because I've been outvoted already by a crack broadcast team here, led by our producer, Derek Simmons. Technical director, David Simmons. Camera operator. R.J. Tate joining the exclusive Sports on Radio video production team. R.J., by the way, listen, man, you, you've done a great job in your debut. Have you have you have you worked a camera before? This is your first time ever. Well, see, that's just it. It's just it, R.J. Some guys have it, some guys don't. There's R.J. Tate on that camera up there. R.J., show him again. Show him again. Some guys got it, and some guys don't got it. RJ, that's just simply how it is. And here at Sports on Radio, I can proudly proclaim that our, our team, our guys, they got it. Just like you, buddy. 10 seconds left in this game. Butterfield at the line, made one, missed one for the Falcons. Seven seconds after the rebound, five seconds left. The Yellow Jackets will, they don't even have to take it into front court. They're gonna let it run out. 55-38. Victory for Blue Ridge over the Outs State Falcons. The Falcons still looking for their first win on the season. After this loss, they drop to 0-6. Blue Ridge stays undefeated. This win here for them tonight will make their record 4-0. The Yellow Jackets are 4-0 on this Early uh, early campaign. We'll talk to Janet Rex, the head coach of Blue Ridge, and Jason Bonito, the Sports Zone Radio's player of the game, coming up in our post game wrap up in just a bit. Everybody, great night here at Blue Ridge High School. The yeah, Outs say Lady Falcons got a win earlier. It's the Blue Ridge boys in the conclusion of our broadcast doubleheader with the win here over the Outs say Falcon boys varsity team. Stick around. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Harley up to nice up close tight shot there on video. Looking good, Harley. All right. Post game wrap up is on the way next here from Blue Ridge High School. Stick around for it. And our discussion with the Sports on Radio's player of the game brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. That's on the way next from Blue Ridge. Stand by. When it comes to paint, whether you're looking for interior or exterior paint, Dunn Edwards provides quality solutions to make all your painting projects look professional. And the home of Dunn Edwards in the White Mountains is Ace Hardware in Sholo Pine Top and Heber Overgard. Thanks to Dunn Edwards, Ace has the best interior paint for your home or office, and their exterior paint will stand up to the wear and tear of our tough seasonal weather. When it's time to paint, it's time to visit Ace Hardware of the White Mountains for high quality Dunn Edwards interior and exterior paint and primer.
The team at Beeman Well Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. There's a season for everything, and when it comes to braces for your child, that time is usually now, because time goes by so fast. But the expense of orthodontic care can make parents put it off, oftentimes too long. That's where Beeler Orthodontics steps in to take the pressure off your checkbook. Beeler offers custom payment plans, so treatment can begin immediately. The perfect payment plan is just a visit away, because at Beeler, we don't think you should have to wait another minute. Call 537-7775. Beeler Orthodontics. Live life with a smile. Any insurance agent can provide a quote, return a phone call, or claim to have the best rates. But will your current agent fight alongside you if and when you need to make a claim, discuss options when life changes, or put you and your needs first? At the Troy Merrill Farmers Insurance Agency, that's exactly who you'll get. People over profit. Years of expertise and knowledge, personalized service, and a straightforward, comprehensive, and cost-effective insurance solution. Call or visit the Merrill Farmers Insurance Agency now and experience exactly what you've been missing. Switch to Naked Mobile today, and for a limited time, you'll get the Google Pixel 2 XL free. The Google Pixel 2 XL with a bigger 6-inch display, super fast performance, and greater battery reserve. This phone delivers. Activate with Naked Mobile and get the Google Pixel 2 XL for free when you switch and purchase three months of our $60 a month, 20 gigabyte LTE data plan. Did we mention it's bigger, faster, stronger, and it's free? Naked Mobile with coverage on America's best networks. No contract, no credit check, no hidden fees. Available at any Cellular One store near you or at NakedMobile.com. Time now for the Northland Basketball Wrap-Up Show. A look back at tonight's broadcast of Northland Basketball. Presented by Sports Zone Radio. Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Ridge High School. And our broadcast coverage of Northland Basketball is presented by Sports Zone Radio. Here tonight at Blue Ridge High School. I, I'm picking everything up right here, okay, on that microphone, guys. So, uh, welcome back in. As we uh, wrap it up for you, we've got our post-game interviews, a little discussion here in just a moment. And we're clearing out some room to get camera position, and we'll we're gonna we're gonna get going with our our wrap up in just a moment. Hey, Jason, let's get you over here. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Jason, I'm going to have you stand right here. Actually, Jason, why don't you stand on that side? That'll work even better. And I'm just going to have you stand kind of close, all right? Our broadcast audience out there listening to the instructions that I give. And uh, we'll grab a microphone. Are you taking this audio? Okay, got you. Very good. So those watching, if we uh, give you a look at at, at uh, Jason and I, if we give you a look, those watching are going to be, you're going to see a little delay in the, uh, the audio as it reaches the video. That's just how it works. And we will get rolling momentarily. Final score was 55-38, everybody. Closing in on 9 o'clock tonight. Big, big win for the Blue Ridge boys. Undefeated, right? Remaining undefeated, yeah. Jason, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. All right. Very good. Let's uh, let's make sure that this microphone is right there. All right. Yep, yeah, that'll be perfect. You like it? All right, here we go. Blue Ridge High School, the site of tonight's Northland basketball broadcast, everybody. Sports on Radio bringing it to you here tonight. And a big win for the, for the Yellow Jackets as they stave off these Alchemy State Falcons by final score 55 38. The Blue Ridge team, by virtue of tonight's win, stays undefeated. They are 4 and 0, 4 and 0 on the season. Yes, sir. And a great start to the campaign for the Yellow Jackets. Falcons still looking for their first win. They played well, especially early on, but the Yellow Jackets went on a nice run in the second quarter, compounded that by 
having a good third period, and then they were able to close it out again, the final 55-38. Floyd Simmons here, and I'm joined by the Sports on Radio's player of the game. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Here's the dude, Jason Benito. <laughs> and a great job out there tonight, Jason. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Hey, look, man, the deal is that you came out, and in that second half just kind of became – the guy around whom everything started to happen, you were making defensive plays, you were delivering assists, you were scoring kind of kind of doing everything, really gluing the team together. Uh, tell me about the, the effort of you and the team in the second half. Um, we came out a little bit rough in the beginning, but Coach talked to us at halftime and gave us a game plan, and we just went from there. So you felt uh, a little inspired maybe in that second? Yeah. Half? Yeah. So you've got a team that's kind of got a lot of pieces to it, and we saw that on display out there. Uh, by the way, the high point man was Nate Padilla. Yeah. He did a great job, offensive rebounds, controlling the ball. Like you fed him nicely, you and the team. 14 mm -hmm. points, he led the way in scoring. Blocked shots. Uh, Carson Rex has that length. That, that tall. So you've got some, some bigs, and yeah. of course, you have some really good guard play. Tell us yeah. about the, the overall makeup of the team in your mind. Um... You know, we're good. We're missing, like, a few players, like our seniors. But if we keep playing as a team, why we'll be good. What do we read into an undefeated mark right now, 4-0 record? What, 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 are, we, are we supposed to read too much into that? Does this mean that this – is this a great uh, Blue Ridge team, or is there still some work to uh, – There's still some work. You know, we're still developing. We haven't yeah. reached where we're supposed to be at so far. And I felt like we can be way, way better. Yeah. Yeah. And early December, um, you could see there's some, there's some chemistry out there. Yeah. And yet, at, at, at times, there was, uh, there was a pass to this guy or that guy, you know, out of position, that kind of thing. Still yeah. working through early season jitters, right? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about some of the other guys on the team then. Let's begin with Nate Padilla. Talk about his game and what he, what he means to you. I mean, inside, he's got such good length, and we saw that with the, the block shots in particular, and he led your team in scoring. Yeah, he's one of our best players, like down, down below, because he has a height and he has his, his shot. And, yeah. How about the, uh, the, the new coaches this year, the, the, the coaches, the, the Rex, uh, uh, Craig Rex uh, assisting his wife, Janet Rex, the husband-wife yeah. team. Is that, is that a different new kind of dynamic uh, to play a team on a team uh, like that? Yeah. Well, like the offense, it's like mm -hmm. different. Because last year it was just like a simple pass and cut, and now we're actually running like a real offense. So we're still getting used to that one too. And we just get better from there. Yeah, no question. Well, I thought the team did a great job, and 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 Jason in particular, you out there, you were the spark plug. Uh, it kind of made things happen in that second half, and got your team that big lead, and eventually you guys get the win. So congratulations. Thank you, Jason Benito, right there. He is the Sports on Radio's Player of the Game. Everybody, it's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center here tonight, right here at Blue Ridge High School, where the Yellow Jackets have taken down. The Alcha State Falcons final score 55 to 38. Northland basketball right here at Sports on Radio. Good job, Jason. Way to go, man. Let's bring Coach on. Coach Rex joins us here now. We'll get a microphone on the on the good coach. And folks, while we while we wait for Coach Rex to get all mic'd up and ready to go, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Sports Zone Radio Network. This is Sports Zone Radio. Zone Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio. Back to Blue Ridge High School, everybody. Thanks for joining us here. Big win for the Yellow Jacket Boys Varsity team. Looks like we're, I see the red light. We're shooting. Final check-in tonight from Blue Ridge High School. Everybody, welcome back. Floyd Simmons here for Sports Zone Radio. This is Northland Basketball, and our first chance tonight to see both the Blue Ridge Boys Varsity and the Alchesay Falcons, teams that right now going different directions. Alchesay looking for their first win of the season, and after tonight, well, they're still looking. The Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets, they just keep winning. They're undefeated 4-0 after tonight's win, 55-38 final score. The Yellow Jackets take down the Alchesay Falcons. Folks, welcome back in as I'm joined by the Yellow Jackets' victorious head coach, Janet Rex, our first chance to meet Coach Rex here this season tonight. First chance to talk to you on our uh, broadcast of Northland Basketball. Coach Rex, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you very much. Your husband, Greg, said two things to me a moment ago on the bench. He said, uh, as he's coaching from the, uh, the end of the bench, he said, A, I'm retired. My wife is fully in charge here. And, and the second thing he said is he said that you're a little 
a little camera and microphone shy, Coach. Yeah, I don't do cameras well. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We're going to make you feel comfortable here tonight. And we thank you for joining. Good to meet you. And, uh, you know, hey, listen, the team looks great, crisp, sharp. Uh, coach, uh, you know, not Coach, but uh, Jason Benino, the player of the game a moment ago, talking about running a kind of, quote, real offense this year out there. Talk about, uh, talk about your team and your success tonight in the win. So it's, it's kind of ironic and kind of weird with the kids having to adapt to a female coach. Um, no question. And no. Yep, very much so. And they have been amazing. And without them and without a great coaching staff, you mentioned my husband, uh, Mr. Granillo, and then Kirby Elkins is our freshman coach. Um, the boys have totally bought into our system, which is what we need to have happen. Buy-in. I Buy mean, in. that's the thing. If, if, if the kids are going to adapt to a unconventional coaching yep. structure yep. Led, by, led by a woman at the top leading a, a, a boys' team, there's got to be buy-in. And, and certainly we see it out there. There's, there's great respect with the team. The guys, they play hard. Uh, you know, the the results are speaking for themselves right now, I think, at Blue Ridge. Well, I appreciate that, but we're not as hard as we want them to play. They'll get there. Like, we, you know, we keep saying, like, you're not here, but you're not here. And so we need to keep growing, and we grow together. And that's what they're buying into, well, which is great. I, I haven't met a coach yet who was satisfied, especially four games True in. True that. Even if undefeated, there's yep. always more to be done, right? True that. You had a pretty, uh, pretty tough uh, competitive team on the other side. That Falcons team under a new head coach. Uh, coach Henry is, yep. is in his first year as Kyle Goklish has hang, hung up his coaching whistle. Um, obviously, they're going through some growing pains of change there. But there's a lot of talent on that side. Your, your team did not beat a pushover the falcons can play right and coming here i think there was a rival between the two like everyone's like are you ready are you ready and i'm like i don't know what to be ready for you know because we're, yeah. we're new to the area <laughs> yeah. so we didn't know um but a lot of the kids are friends with the you know alchisay team and that's that says a lot too with the community well coach i think that your, your team did a great job especially as you started to get separation in the second quarter of taking the Falcon crowd out of it because much of who was here that filled up this yep. this, this gymnasium were Falcon were, uh, uh, White yeah, River fans yeah. and Alchester fans, and you did a good job again to take them out of the game. Well, that's what we said in our first time out that we took them. Like you guys are making them believers, and as soon as you do that, then we're we're in trouble, and so we need to play our game. So the kids responded. Bringing you back to the, the details of the game, Coach, let's talk about first the Sports on Radio's player of the game, Jason Bonito. He had a kind of a, you know, kind of a middling, uh, nothing, nothing spectacular first half. But in the second half, he came out, and he was doing so many of those dynamic things, those spark plug type things yeah. that you'd like to get from your guard play. Uh, he was uh, uh, causing turnovers, taking things away, assisting, getting stuff done. Between him, by the way, and, uh, and, and Jaron in that yeah, second half. Your, your guard play was yeah, spectacular. Yeah. So Jason, I don't know if you know, this is his first game back. No. So, so the very first game of the season, he was in warm-ups and sprained his ankle. So he has not actually seen the floor until tonight. So I'm, wow. sure, I'm sure that was his first half jitters, you know, because he was overexcited. And then he just started settling down, which was nice. Unquestionably, you want to you want to see that, and for him to I didn't realize first game back for yeah. him to get this uh, yeah. you know, speaks to that's you know, pretty exciting. Spe yeah. Speaks to the need to certainly have him in the rotation. And how about the high point man tonight, uh, big fella underneath uh, Nate, Nate Padilla yeah. had, had a great game. He's grown a lot this year, which is nice. And and the kids they look to feed him, you know, which is nice. So then they get shots on the outside. It's it's working well. Well, uh, he did a great job. 14 points for him. Jason, the Sports Zone Radio's player of the game, had nine points, and, and a number of other guys. Really, you, you spread the wealth around a lot tonight, Coach. Um, set, uh, eight points for a couple of different guys on your team. Logan, uh, Logan Joe had eight points. Cesar Benio uh, had eight points in the game. Also, Carson Rex, your son, had, had seven, and Jaron Burnett had, had. From previous years was to make sure that it wasn't a go-to to one person. Um, because everyone needs that needs to play needs to be able to score, and they need to have the belief that we believe in them. Coach Rex, you're a math teacher. I am. You you had to like that formula tonight. I did not. Oh, she but, oh, but, she did not but, like the for but, but formula. We, but we came out on top, and, you know. And <laughs> I'll take those so that we can grow. But okay. Um, yeah. So 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 a lot to work on. We do. Been out we of this do. one tonight. Isn't that bad? I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, but it just means that you have a very high standard. We do, and I think the kids have it too, which is nice. We go in there, and you know, we believe in them, and we tell them that, and they're like, "Yep, we do too," and that's what they have to show. 
It's Coach, all good. Coach, great great job anyway. Thank you. I'm going to give you that, Thank okay? You. And, Thank uh, you. And uh, I, I thought the team looked good out there tonight. I, lo I loved what I saw was some good chemistry. It is. I love it. And and, and, yep. and, and some guys in an unconventional coaching circumstance yep. responding well for the Yellow yep. Jackets. Craig and I are blessed. We have great great kids and great parents. It's, a, it's a good community. Congratulations on the win, Thank Coach. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Good to meet Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's head coach uh, Janet Rex. This Blue Ridge team, they're undefeated after tonight. 4-0 on the campaign, a big 55-38 to win over the Alchese Falcons. Congratulations to Jason uh, Bonito, the uh, coming back, his first game back off injury, the Sports on Radio's player of the game. That's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center for the entire crew. Floyd Simmons, thanking you for joining us at Blue Ridge tonight. Don't forget our next broadcast is Saturday afternoon, 3.30 for a girls matchup. Game one of the broadcast, doublehead of the boys' varsity, follows at 3.30 in the afternoon this Saturday. It's Monument Valley at Winslow on the next broadcast of Northland Basketball right here at Sports on Radio. Good night, everybody, from Blue Ridge High School. And there is that on video. And I'm saying good, good night now, coming up on both our, our live video and our radio broadcast. Say great night tonight. On that other side, I do want to mention Gavin Butterfield. Didn't make it into our discussion on video. But Gavin, uh, for, for say had 19 points in this one tonight including five three-point baskets. What a sharp shooting performance by Gavin Butterfield of the Alchese Falcons, but he and the team come up short. Hey, by the way, he scored fully half, 50% of his team's points in this one tonight. They certainly needed other guys to step in and step up. But tonight it's Blue Ridge, 55-38 with the win over the Alchese Falcons. Folks, don't forget that broadcast coming up Saturday, 3.30 in the afternoon for the girls' game. And the boys' varsity follows that Monument Valley at Winslow. We'll be there on Saturday. Monument Valley at Winslow, your next broadcast of Northland Basketball. That's going to do it tonight. want to thank our uh, uh, video producer, Derek Simmons. want to thank our technical director, David Simmons, uh, working the broadcast with us tonight. And really, for a first full game as our technical director tonight, I thought did a terrific job on the broadcast. So David Simmons, outstanding work. He... He, uh, he, he, got, uh, he got a few uh, sharp words from, uh, from the executive producer on this one tonight because all new guys do. And speaking of new guys, thank you as well to R.J. Tate for his assistance, his work on the broadcast tonight. For the entire crew, I'm Floyd Simmons. Big thank you for joining us tonight at Blue Ridge High School. The Yellow Jackets take down the Alcha State Falcons. We'll see you on Saturday with more Northland basketball. God bless you. Good night from Lakeside, everybody. This has been Northland Basketball, an exclusive presentation of Sports Zone Radio. Listen online at sportszone123.com and download the Sports Zone Radio app for your smartphone and listen wherever you go. Join us again for the next broadcast of Northland Basketball. This is Sports Zone Radio. Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio.